Hi everyone, welcome back to my Stellaris Let's Play, playing on hard difficulty with the Mycelion Independent New Territories. I'm recording on a different day to the last video, and actually yesterday Wales got knocked out in the semi-finals of the football, so I'm pretty down about that, but things are going rather well for the Mycelions. We've recently uh, actually vassalised the Chino, win winning our first war. There are quite a few opportunities that... Uh, I believe are now available to us at uh, this point in the game. I'm going to be colonizing, in fact, I've uh, started colonizing here, I'm going to, well, I've put a colony ship in the list, I've done uh, six updates on these planets as well since the end of the last video. And I've also renamed quite a few things, so our sectors now have names, nothing particularly original, north, south and center. And more original, I've actually redesigned some of my ships I've added on these uh, computers which I hadn't gotten around to which I recently got so both of those uh, my Corvette and destroyers have those and all of these ships now have names that I've come up with which are uh, my Zelion ish related I guess so we got Mega, Looter, Labour, Investor, Prospector, Bailiff and Security I'll have to come up with some more no doubt in the future. Uh, fleet's name, Stellar Barons. Uh, so that's all done. Now speaking of opportunities, well if we look in the diplomatic uh, list of all these different empires, we didn't annoy anyone, uh, to my surprise, uh, having vassalized the Chinor. Uh, if the threat thinks to exist, it doesn't affect vassalizing people by the looks of it. So the Chinor uh, it's probably only just taking planets uh, for yourself. So their opinion of us, well, they're disloyal. Uh, I think since the last video, uh, defensive pact was added on there. I'm not sure why it didn't show up immediately, but we've got that anyway. So yeah, relations aren't good with them, and they are—they have the potential to get pretty strong. Their nerve capacity is never going to be as good as mine, but they're superior in tech, so they could be a threat to us. Now I want to limit that threat as much as possible. Uh, there aren't too many empires which are superior over us now, there are some equivalent as well. There's one stage where everyone was basically superior but uh, I've started to build up a military and uh, really get going. Uh, so I want to limit my risk here to these empires. Now by far the strongest empire going it would seem seems to be the Vem hedge money. They are superior in every way to us uh, they have a huge amount of planets, more than us in fact, we have 10. Uh, so yeah, they're a definite threat, but uh, even though they are xenophobe and collectivist, we've been able to get on good relations with them, even a non-aggression pact. I think I can take this further. If we go in here, you can see uh, we could actually nearly form a defensive pact. We're minus six there. Now I've actually uh, recently been trying to figure out how the gift mechanic works and I've actually loaded up an old save game and mucked around with it. So I believe what the calculation is roughly uh, for every point on here you give to an opponent or another empire you get uh, I believe it's three relations and uh, so say you gave 10 in effect, you get 30. I believe though you minus one off the uh, amount though, so in effect 30 would be 27 relations uh, for 10 gift. Uh, so I believe that's how it works, that's uh, what I've kind of noticed off the small amount of testing I've done. Also, if we go back into here as well, this amount for opinion here is actually different to the one here. You can see our opinion there is plus 13, not plus 2. So I believe how this works for defensive pact is for every 5 amount you get an extra opinion. So I have to figure that into my calculations as well if I want to form a defensive pact. So. Uh, since forming a defensive pact with these, I believe would be a very good idea. We'd basically be the two strongest empires. No one would be easily able to attack me. And forming a defensive pact with them will mean they, that they won't attack me. I think that's a really brilliant idea. 
So I'm going to try and do this. It's going to be very expensive, probably, but I'm going to go for it. So, I have to give him something. Uh, minerals, I could give him all of those. So hold down, shift. You can see, that really does not do a lot. So I think what I'm going to have to do is give him my research agreement. A research agreement. I do have some text he doesn't have, but not an awful lot more. I inc could increase the length of this. So that's 10. Now I believe the amount I'm going to need here to be safe of being able to get this is 13. There's no guarantees though. He could accept this and then uh, become unreceptive and uh, I might not be able to get this deal. So I'm really hoping that doesn't happen. So I don't have quite enough there. I think I'm going to have to give him something else like star chats. I really don't want to give him this either, but it might be worthwhile to get this uh, treaty. So he's going to be able to see everything I can see in terms of what I've uh, surveyed. Uh, so let's put it down to 11. And then I'm going to try give him some minerals. I'm not even sure I've got enough to get it up to 13. No, I haven't. So uh, let's try that. 24 years. Uh, lower it a bit. Okay, let's try that. So I'm going to give him this now. It's a heck of a lot. And I'm giving this to the most powerful empire, so it's probably not a great idea, arguably, but uh, that's what I'm going to do. So let's press confirm. And uh, let's uh, wait a few days and see how things go. Okay. So he has accepted that. Now I should get a relationship boost, as you can see here. Uh, for doing that. So we've got 49. It's one off maybe what I might have needed. I hope... Uh... Oh no. Brilliant. Looks like I've got enough. Uh, so I can form a defensive pact. Looks like my calculations were perfect. Brilliant. So uh, it's acceptance of one and I'm going to form a defensive pact. So what this does... Well you can increase your relations to a maximum of 100 for a start. You gain extra trust. Cost extra influence. Now I have read on the forums recently there might be a, some sort of bug to do with defensive packs. So I'm a bit worried from that point of view. I think if you cancel them you might not get your influence back. I think that's what it kind of said. But I'm going to risk this. Uh, to, well, having him on my side would be a very good idea. So let's confirm that and hopefully he'll accept. It's quite an achievement actually getting this on hard difficulty when they're xenophobe collectivists and I'm individualist. Uh, well, fanatic individualist. Right, so hopefully he will accept that. And it looks like he's accepted. Right, so what are our relationship now? It's up to 69, and I think he said that I can get up to another 100 as max for trust, so I can add another 50 on to that. Now, he will defend us if we are attacked, and we will defend him if we uh, he is attacked. Did I say that right? Not sure. But anyway, that should be pretty brilliant. So, if these guys were to rebel now, I think they would have to take him on as well as myself. What I'm going to be doing now is basically building up, uh, keep on colonizing, I'm going to start on taking on these empires. And we can do that in relative safety, hopefully. Uh, peace offer. Right, they made that. Now, he could at some point cancel this. Now, I may have spent a ton of fortune in effect to get this deal and it might not last very long, but I'm hoping that isn't the case. Uh, so, how are relations otherwise? The only real threat to me now are those guys and uh, arguably just those guys who are equivalents, but uh, yeah, arguably not that much of a threat. Right, so I'm going to group up my fleets. This colony ship, which I've now got on the go, this in Lazon is actually other planets here. And I actually picked up the. Right, that got me worried then. Uh, I actually picked up the ocean colonizing tech a while ago, so I might colonize that. Now, with the Mozillians, remember I picked the adaptive trait. So we get an extra 10%. I got the Frontier Clinic, 55% happiness. You start on 50. So. If I'm going to use the adapted trait, 
I kind of should be colonizing that, probably. Guarantee revoked. Okay. Not really sure what's going on there, but uh, probably interesting nonetheless. Uh, the capital can upgrade this at some point as well. How much is it going to cost? Five, one hundred. I can do that in a not too distant future. Uh, we just cost... Oh, wow. Okay, I did not know that. Defensive packs, we're actually paying for two. So it must be counting the vassal and uh, the one I just did, I think. It's not just two for one opponent. Right, so uh, that's a bit more expensive than I thought it might be. But we're going to get that in 26 months. The advanced form government to help. I can build that for another influence point. We should be okay, but I definitely don't want to uh, get any more vassals or defensive packs. Longer term, I will want to integrate these. But uh, it's going to be a while before that complete. happens. Uh, right, so still a prime completed the surface queue. Uh, I think this place actually has a lot of food. So I'm going to... That has a point of minerals there. I think I'll switch out over the minerals and make food there. Even though it's got two food there. Uh, I'd be wasting something... Arguably, whatever I do here. Uh, right, so let's Construction get, complete. Uh, food up there. Uh, I can start turning over some of these to sectors soon as well. Very soon. Place my network there. Well, my fleets have uh, pretty much grouped up the looks of it. Silver finished. Q. Right, so the Stellar Barons are done. I want to take out. Oh, uh, I actually want to repair first. Uh, I might even want to upgrade, but I've got torpedoes in the go. I'm going to want to take out some Corvettes. Uh, I want to find out what their weapons are like. I want to find out what their weapons are like. And uh, I'm not sure what how quickly trust is going up with these, but uh, one way to analyzed. find out. Uh, point eight five per year, I believe it is. Uh, right, so we've got a ton of debris and Subra. Uh, let's go and pick uh, that up again. Right. Constructors are doing absolutely nothing, but do I want them to be doing anything currently? I don't think I've got much for them to do. I have to think about that, probably. Okay, it took a minute out then to sort some ships out, so I got couple of corvettes going up here. I'm gonna actually take out some creatures I think with my main fleet in a minute. I need to find out what their fleet is like also and I've updated some buildings. Let's get going again then. Uh, they're upgrading and coming up here. Uh, right, so Jenna Prime finished its space port supposedly, which is probably that. What is this? Uh, food here. Uh, right, so what am I going to do with this? Do I have anyone to spare? Uh, no, not really. Right, let's uh, deactivate that. Maybe actually switch out to energy or something. Okay. Debris analyzed. Right, so I need to really work on these quickly as well uh, so before they run out go to science ship in fact I had one science ship that wasn't doing anything so I brought that over uh, it's gonna get that one up right uh, my armies are on Janna Prime I probably need to make another one of those but uh, no rush yet there's an election coming up 
how much influence do I have? Not a lot. You know what? I'm not even gonna... I'm gonna let this take care of itself then. Because, uh, yeah, I might need that for colonizing. Don't want to spend it on that. Really. Uh, there's an unemployed guy here. Construction complete. Right. Just finished the building on there. This place is probably ready to turn over. We're actually getting really good money at the time being. Uh, who's this guy? I think there's a bug going on here with the elections. I'm getting three leaders every election. Look, it's gone up to 12 now. Uh, it's probably because of the... Yeah, that 1.21 fix is uh, causing issues. It's giving me free guys all the time. I think I'll sack the free guys after the election. That's a way that I can uh, mitigate the benefits from that bug. Uh, perhaps I don't want to take advantage of it, really. Uh, right, so let's stick that guy there. Let's clear that tile, which looks to be pretty good. And I think this world is, uh, yeah, it's probably right for turning over, really, isn't it? Um, yeah, I'll probably make another colony ship after that one finishes there. So who have we got? Uh, yeah, I'll do it after the election, just in case it mucks up the election. So I'm, I'm getting a free guy maybe every time, depending on who's elected, it would seem. Right, uh, Janna. Let's group these up. And, uh... Okay. What's going on here? Let's go down there. Let's go up there. Good, that's what I want. Uh, we've got a new level. Nice. Construction complete. Uh, that's on prime. Right, I was clearing that. I think I'm going to move the capital tile there at some point. There's one scientist next to it, but uh, there's not really a better option here, really. I'd lose the money if I put a capital tile there. So, uh... Construction complete. I can actually build a space pool here, and I probably should. Silver so finished a space port. So the situation with uh, the Pirac, who I want to go to war with, yeah, I need to find out how big the military is, and I can actually do that by looking here, I've moved my fleet down. So they've actually recovered very well. They have cruisers, and they have 4.3k, they're upgrading, so I should probably wait until they've upgraded before taking a good look here I guess um, right I'm not might not be able to go for them straight away and in fact I probably need to increase my military rather quickly before they rival me and attack me I haven't rivaled them yet I'm probably not gonna be rivaling these guys and taking them on either even though these guys rival them because if we get borders us two I'd lose my defense pack so I want these as a buffer state even though I could quite easily attack them with the Debris help of them analyzed. Okay, uh, science ship, let's get you to the next one that's running out, probably. I think I've got one on route for that, so I'm not going to do that. Let's go to there, is it? It should highlight this in some way, that's something that Paradox could do, like make it a flashing colour, I don't know, something like that. Situation it, which is updated. good, but if there's loads of them, it's not always easy to tell which one. Uh, Reglor has been elected as the president of the Mycelon Independent New Territories. So is he a new one? Probably is. Uh, not necessarily. Not sure. We've elected previous leader of the Silver. Okay, let's figure this out. Right, he was a admiral guy that we got for free by the looks of it, and I think he's been elected. Right, so I'm gonna... This was a free guy, I'm gonna dismiss that leader. So I think I got two for free. Now I had him for free before, didn't I? So I'm gonna sack him as well. 
bring us back to 10. Let's not take advantage of it. Uh, I think I hired that guy myself at some point. Right. About to get a colony ship. Construction complete. The uh, Stellar Barons are finished. Let's go and kill some creatures. There was actually a mission to do that. This guy actually has a minor mandate, so I need to get my constructors up and out as well. Okay, I think there might be some crystals there. Uh, okay, minor mandate, so I can definitely do that. Uh, probably also want to get that science stone, because it's such a good source. Let's go and grab that now. Uh, some minerals here. And there's some minerals up here. Now, if there's resources were in a sector, you probably want to keep them to last if you've got a ton of stuff to upgrade since your sectors Construction can build complete. constructor ships and do them themselves. Spaceport and Stural just made a colony ship. I'm actually going to make another one straight away. I want to get some minerals. This colony ship though, yeah, let's colonize the ocean world. Really debatable. I would love a migration treaty with an ocean uh, colonizing race. Those two are both actually ocean, but neither of them I can get a, a treaty from. Uh, these guys are probably the closest I'm able to maybe get one with, but they lack a planet where my population could migrate to. I think that's what it says, sadly. Right, so let's get this colony ship to here. Now with the 1.2 patch, the way things work, it's colonized systems rather than planets, so I won't be going over by colonizing this. Uh, best food tile happens to be... I don't think you can place it. Yeah, I can't place it on the tile blocker, even if one that you can clear. So yeah, I'll put it there for the time being. Okay. Construction they completed. Yeah. The fact that they're upgrading as well. Oh, they have upgraded now. Okay, let's check these out in more detail. So these are the Pirax cruisers, and they're the most updated version, I believe. So they look as if they've got a huge amount of shields, which I'm going to have to keep in mind. Energy's not great. They have really poor core components. I uh, don't have computer at all, but I think they have better thrusters than me for extra evasion. I have the same level of sensors. Their weapons are pretty weak uh, in damage, but they do excellent damage to shields, which I really need to keep in mind. So I think with my ships, maybe I should focus on armor a lot more, and anti-shields, or even stuff that bypasses shields, like torpedoes. Uh, so I think that's the strategy I'll be using when I uh, decide to go for them. Uh, the fleet is bigger than mine currently. I definitely want to get my fleet up to similar numbers. If we look at the... Well, if I highlight there, you can see the maintenance cost. They actually pay half in maintenance compared to what I do, I believe. Uh, if we look at the Corvettes, uh, also, they damage 5.7. Uh, so that's something I need to uh, keep in mind because I'm about to show you what my Corvettes are like by here. So, mine is 7.91. So you can see I have an advantage in causing damage, it would appear. Uh, probably that computer is certainly helping as well with that. My evasion, I think they had 15% as well. I definitely need to pick up some thrusters. And uh, yeah, looks like armor over shields, maybe in future, at least for some of my ships. Right, so that's uh, the state of uh, their fleets anyway. And I believe I updated a build list or two. I've got to save that for colony ship in a second. I need a couple of months. Research to complete. Do that uh, research is done. Picked up the physics lab. Arguably I should have went for the many option last time round. I'm hoping it turns up again now if uh, not very soon in the future. These well that one I would definitely want but I might pick up uh, some more research for that in the debris. So I'm not going to pick that up. Observatory I would have to 
update my spaceports quite a bit to be making those since I already have the food and I want the energy as well. But uh, yeah, definitely tempted by that. I don't think I picked this up yet then, uh, since I've only just picked up the last one. Senses, I don't need so much with torpedoes for the chance to hit. I'll pick up that, so it's cheap. And I'll swap the Voidcraft guy over, I guess, since... Uh, yeah, it's probably a good idea. And uh, let's get the Spark of Genius. No, I can't. Um, I have to wait for him then, and I'll swap that around later. Okay, let's get going. How much minerals next month? Colony ship. I'm gonna keep on making the Xenophile enhanced version of this, which there happens to be one available there. Uh, right, that can, those can come down here. And uh, still making that there. Minerals are low. I need to make some robots once I've colonized that world, which will be too long. Analyzed. Debris done. Uh, brilliant. Is this the Spark of Genius guy? Let's switch him over. Okay, and he can have computer guy. Yeah. Which I don't need here, it would seem quite yet. Uh, next debris in the list then is that one. Whichever one that, that one is. Let's assume it's that. Hostile fleet engaged. Okay, looks like right, my fleet is engaged here. I believe these are the crystal entities that are in the list. So I have to kill one. Situation log updated. Hostile I can move fleet away. engaged. Oh, well I wanted to move away. So it triggered the event. Oh, brilliant. Good. Uh, so a very long event that I'm not going to read. Uh, so the options are end the crystalline entity shard event chain begins the crystal kaleidoscope event chain. Which means I have to kill four more, I believe. Seven. Okay. More than I thought. Is that because we're late in the game? I don't know. Right, so let's start killing them there. Hostile fleet engaged. Incoming transmission. Okay. Do you want our star charts? I don't. I've got no star charts. I do my own survey and get the experience. This is a very good reason. Situation yes. updated. Okay, that's how many. Still haven't done that event yet. Oh, was I reading the wrong one? Yes, it was. Uh, it's four. Debris analyzed. Construction complete. Right, so super is done. Let's go grab that one. Okay. Uh, silver. Made another ship. Situation log updated. Let's get that down to... I don't know why I'm sending these to Janna. I should send them to Gliderum, actually. Since there's uh, less upkeep on one of the spaceports there. Right. Construction complete. That's right. Prime finished something. Let's get the Stellum Barons. Right, looks like they've actually done the job. Did I take damage a little bit? Let's go and repair. Uh, that also means I have more debris to do. <laughs> I could really do with another scientist, and if I had the influence, I'd buy another scientist, but I don't. Not really. What I really need to be doing is upgrading the capital, so I can upgrade to that straight away. But, uh, 
uh, bit of mineral short it would seem at the moment. 